But first tonight, major developments this afternoon from the Fulton County Courthouse. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Courtney Bryant. A special grand jury is hearing testimony about possible criminal wrongdoing in efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election in Georgia. A spokesman for Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has told the Fox 5 I team she is considering requesting that former President Donald Trump testify under oath before the panel. The grand jury has focused its efforts on whether or not President Trump and his allies broke the law as they tried to overturn his loss to Joe Biden in Georgia. Also, Fox 5 senior IT reporter Del Russell has confirmed Willis sent so-called target letters to 16 alternate electors who cast electoral college votes for Trump in December 2020, even though he hadn't won in the state of Georgia. A target letter is sent to inform someone they run the risk of being charged in an investigation. The former president has continued to deny any wrongdoing. There is also another development with the grand jury probe. Republican nominee for Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones has filed a motion with the judge overseeing the special grand jury, asking that District Attorney Willis and her entire staff be disqualified from the investigation. Jones argues Willis and her special prosecutor on the case, Nathan Wade, have supported Jones's Democratic opponent in the Lieutenant Governor's race, Charles Bailey. The Fox 5 I team has learned that Willis recently sent a target letter to Jones because he was one of the 16 alternate electors who cast ballots for Donald Trump in Georgia, even though Mr. Trump lost in Georgia. The motion requires that Willis, Wade, and our entire office be disqualified due to a conflict of interest. A spokesperson for Willis calls the motion without merit. They also say that Willis's support for Democratic Lieutenant Governor candidate Charles Bailey has nothing to do with his opponent, nor does her job to investigate crimes in Fulton County have anything to do with anyone else's political campaign. Two gun